Uh, I know that, that algae is the fastest organism, fastest growing plant on the planet, and it sequesters the greatest amount of carbon dioxide. But at the same time, it produces lipids, basically vegetable oil, and a lot of it. So if you look at a single cell of algae in the right species, as much as 50% of its body weight is a high-grade vegetable oil. So while we're sequestering carbon dioxide, we're also producing these high-grade lipids that can be used for a variety of purposes. If I grow an acre of corn, and I'm looking at it from the standpoint of producing oil, uh, I can grow about 18 gallons of oil per acre per year. So now move up, let's go up to the next highest, or, or what's the most prevalent, is palm. Palm, we get seven to 800 gallons per acre per year. Algae, I can go up to 20,000 gallons of oil per acre per year. And that's just in an open pond system. That's not in a closed bioreactor system. If we took one-tenth of the state of New Mexico and converted it into algae production, we could meet all of the energy demands for the entire United States. The beauty of algae is the fact that we can actually be selective about what carbon chains are coming out of it. So for example, if you want to make jet fuel, we can give you a strain of algae that's going to make the carbon chains that are necessary to manufacture jet fuel much more efficiently than you can any other crop. Or if you want to make diesel for a truck, we can give you the carbon chains that are ideal for that. So we can tailor the lipids based on the species of algae that we're growing. Right. Did you know